Johnny Depp is one of Hollywood's biggest stars right now, as well as one of the world's most well-known celebrities. His Pirates of the Caribbean's famed Jack Sparrow. He is a well-known American actor, director, producer, singer, and painter. He has been nominated for three Academy Awards and two BAFTAs and has won a Golden Globe and a Screen Actors Guild Award. However, with fame, controversies are always there. So what kind of controversies has he been in? And by the way, how did he start his career? What necessarily should you know about him? Stay tuned. On June 9, 1963, he was born in Owensboro, Kentucky. He is the youngest of four children born to Betty Sue Palmer, a waitress, and John Christopher Depp, a civil engineer. The family relocated to Murramer, Florida in 1970, and in 1978, the parents divorced. Depp's mother married Robert Palmer after the divorce, and he became a role model for Depp. Depp has been married twice and divorced both times. His ex-wives are Lori and Allison and Amber Heard. However, he has also previously dated Sherilyn Fenn, Jennifer Grey, Winona Ryder, Juliette Louise, Kate Moss, Ellen Barkin, and Vanessa Paradis, among others. With his ex-girlfriend Vanessa Paradis, he has two children. So how did he start his career? Acting has always been the first love for most successful actors, such as Brad Pitt. Even when circumstances prevent them from doing so, their passion for theater remains ingrained in their hearts until they achieve their goals. Johnny Depp's initial love, though, was music. Depp dropped out of high school at the age of 16 to pursue a career to music. In 1984, Allison had her friend, actor Nicolas Cage, arrange for Depp to audition with director Wes Craven, and Depp made his cinematic debut in A Nightmare on Elm Street as a teenager eaten by his own bed. However, the following year, he divorced Allison. But without Allison, did he still make it? Depp's professional break came in 1987 with the premiere of 21 Jump Street, a television police series starring Depp as Officer Tom Hansen, a young cop who frequently went undercover in high schools and universities to apprehend problematic adolescents. Depp despised his promotion as a youthful heartthrob, and the show was a hit. In 1990, he departed the show to star in John Waters' Cry Baby and Tim Burton's Edward Scissorhands, two films by unconventional filmmakers that displayed Depp's versatility. He also appeared in several films, but his big break came in 2003, when he played Captain Jack Sparrow in Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. As a result of his steady rise and involvement in Pirates of the Caribbean, Johnny Depp has become a cult icon. Depp's acting fees soared, despite the fact that his bank account was already bulging. He was named the world's highest paid actor by the Guinness Book of Records in 2012. At the time, his earnings were estimated to be $75 million. He was nominated again the following year for Finding Neverland. After collaborating with Burton on Sweeney Todd, the demon barber of Fleet Street, he was nominated once more. Depp has been cut from both the Pirates of the Caribbean and Fantastic Beasts franchises following his divorce from Amber Heard. One of his great ventures is Depp's production firm Infinitum Nile, of which he is the founder and CEO. It began in 2004 and has already brought a number of films to the big screen. He also founded a winery and bought a few vineyards near St. Topaz, France. There's also a fantastic restaurant on the Champs Elysees. So, what do these ventures add his total net worth to? Well, since his debut appearance on the big screen in 1984, Depp has come a long way. Also, his net wealth. While we don't know how much he made in the past, we do know that he now earns an average of $20 million every film. He also earns close to $10 million each year through endorsements. And his annual income is estimated to be approximately $50 million. He earns seven to five million dollars for the films he directed between 2010 and 2012. Black Mass made 37.8 million dollars in 2015. Pirates of the Caribbean, On Stranger Tides made 55 million dollars in 2011, and Alice Through the Looking Glass made a stunning 61.1 million dollars last year. The pay like that, owning an island, doesn't seem like such a huge issue. While he is currently experiencing financial troubles. Nevertheless, his vast $200 million net worth will undoubtedly continue to grow. Things are starting to get interesting now. Johnny Depp's lifestyle is lavish, to say the least. His outgoings are enormous. According to Business Insider, the well-known actor has 14 estates throughout the world. You'd think that a couple of residences in Hollywood, a few penthouses in downtown Los Angeles, a horse farm in Kentucky, and magnificent castle in southern France worth roughly $26 million would be plenty right. Wrong. The well-known Hollywood celebrity purchased a lovely Bahamas island. After all, isn't that what pirates do? They control the oceans and own islands in ships. This is, after all, not far from reality. 
While filming Pirates of the Caribbean, Depp fell in love with the Bahamas and imagined himself living there in tranquility, away from the stresses of Hollywood. As a result, in 2004, he paid $3.5 million for a 4 to 5-acre island known as Little Hall's Pond K. For the actor, privacy appears to be a priority. For example, he had a large 30-room estate in Los Angeles that he paid over $2 million for in 1995. He later paid an additional $10 million to buy the adjoining residences to gain greater solitude. Let's get to his rides now. He currently owns around four to five luxury automobiles. His favorite car is a red 1959 Corvette Roadster, but he's also been spotted in a Cadillac Escalade or an Audi A8 in Los Angeles. He also owned a 156-foot yacht named Vagili Roja, which he sold for $33 million a few years ago. America is following the defamation trial between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard in Fairfax, Virginia, and it appears that the country is puzzled. According to Vanity Fair, court TV daytime ratings have doubled while the trial is shown. As fans watch and discuss the celebrity case of the year, its messiness, its scandal, the glamorous movie stars at its center, and the dilemma of what to believe and how much, hashtags related to the trial have regularly trended on Twitter. Depp is suing Heard in Virginia's Fairfax County Circuit Court for $50 million for an op-ed she published in the Washington Post in December 2018, in which she described herself as a public figure representing domestic abuse. His lawyers claim the story defamed him despite the fact that his name was never stated. Heard has filed a countersuit for $100 million, alleging that Depp's lawyers defamed her by saying that her abuse allegations were a hoax. This is a muddled and complex case. While it's ostensibly a defamation case involving a newspaper article with Depp suing Heard, there's one major disagreement at its heart. According to Amber Heard, Johnny Depp allegedly mistreated her. But according to Depp, Heard allegedly abused him. So, what really is the truth? Surprisingly, in our post-Me Too era, it appears that the internet's strongest voices have overwhelmingly sided with Depp. While there is convincing evidence of domestic abuse on both sides, it's however less obvious whether the evidence supports Depp's claim or whether he has a good chance of winning this case. Depp, on the other hand, has a more public profile. And despite the fact that it's been over a decade since he released a true critical smash, he's amassed enough critical acclaim over the course of his long career to merit some respect. Last month, talent agency Christian Carino testified that he believed Heard's allegations of abuse cost Depp the role of Captain Jack Sparrow in the Six Pirates of the Caribbean film, despite the fact that the actor had previously played the character in five films. The Six Pirates of the Caribbean film has yet to be confirmed, but according to film producer Jerry Bruckheimer, the door for Depp to return isn't fully closed. When asked by the Sunday Times earlier this month if he was considering reprising his role as Captain Jack Sparrow, he stated that it wasn't at this time. To him. The future is still up in the air. And though his future involvement in Hollywood projects has yet to be verified, Depp is said to have at least one acting job in the works. He is set to play the controversial French King Louise the 15th in the upcoming French-language film Jean du Barry. The period drama will be helmed by Mon, who also stars as the ruler's mistress. Depp also recently performed the voice of Johnny Puff in Puffin's Impossible, a children's web miniseries. So, what are your thoughts about Johnny Depp? Does he live a lavish lifestyle? Is his story one of heartbreak or inspiration? And do you think he will win the case against Amber Heard? Feel free to click on some of our other videos on screen if you enjoyed this one. You won't be disappointed. See you there.